Hello and welcome back to Champs Myanmar. Today we are going to be looking at keys to a successful interview. Are you ready? By the end of this lesson, you will be able to plan a successful interview. You will have a wide variety of expressions and vocabulary that you can use, and you'll have a better understanding of the different stages of an interview. Are you ready? Let's go. So you made it to the next stage of the hiring process. However, this can be one of the most daunting experiences that we go through. I know myself, an interview, very, very stressful. It's probably going to be a little bit more stressful for you because you maybe have some issues with your level of English. Now, let's work on that today. We are going to break down the interview process into four stages. The first stage is the introductory stage. You will get to practice some of the things that we looked at in the last two lessons. At this stage, there may be some small talk. You're going to use your body language to express your confidence. And then you may be asked about how your travels were to the office. Did you have any troubles finding us? How was your journey here? The next stage is the question and answer stage. This is the longest stage of the interview, and this is the one that you must prepare for the most. Tell me about yourself is a great question here, and if you can practice answering this question and you can nail it in the interview, you can answer every other question that you may be asked. So let's consider this question. Tell me about yourself. This is one of the biggest questions, like I've just said. We are going to split it into three parts. And to answer this, we are going to use the past, the present, and the future. Now, you will start with the present. This is important because it tells the interviewer the most important thing, and that is what you are doing right now. So some nice phrases that you could use include, I am responsible for, my responsibilities include, I handle, at the moment I am working as a... So let's have a look at some useful phrases you can use to answer, tell me about yourself, the present. Well, the first one you could use is, at the moment I am working as an English teacher, at the moment I am working as an English teacher. I have been living in Myanmar for two years. I have been living in Myanmar for two years. I have been living in Myanmar since 2018. You could also say, I am responsible for, and then what are your responsibilities? As an English teacher, my responsibilities include teaching interesting lessons to English students. What are your responsibilities? You can talk about your present situation by saying, I am in charge of, I handle, I take care of. Remember, you must use the present tense here. You are talking about what you are doing now. After you have finished telling the interviewer about your present situation, you are then going to move on to talk about your past. So you need to think about your past experiences and how they have helped to get you where you are now. So some nice phrases we can use include prior to, previous to, before verb, ing, I, ed, I worked at company name. So prior to working at Chance Myanmar, I worked as an English teacher at school. You then need to go into some detail about what you did. Remember, past tense. So I was responsible for. Let's take a look at some expressions and phrases you can use when talking about your past. So, a phrase like, 
I was responsible for creating content or I handled the customer services team. My responsibilities included creating and planning projects. The final stage is about your future. This is where you get to tell the interviewer about what you hope to do and why you are excited about the opportunities that you can have. Some useful phrases you can use include, I am hoping to. Another phrase you can use is, I am looking to join a company that will give me continued career development. Another phrase, nice and simple, I know this company. I know this company offers continued career development. You need to think about why you want this job. How is it going to change your future? You need to explain to the interviewer. You need to really tell them why you're excited about this opportunity. You can use language like, I believe, I know, I believe I have what it takes. I know the skills I have will help me in this position, help you to excel. We're now at the third stage of the interview. This is where you get to show your knowledge and you get to ask some questions. It's very, very important that you don't jump in and start asking about salary and benefits. This is not a professional look at all. Let's have a look at some questions that you can ask that's going to make you seem more professional. You need to prepare at least three questions for your interview. If you want to look unprofessional, then don't ask any questions. Let's have a look at some questions that you can have that are going to make you seem professional, keen, motivated. Are you ready? Let's get started. Number one, opportunities for development. You need to ask these. Of course, you want to develop in your career. This makes the interviewer know that you are going to be dedicated and you have motivation to succeed. You also need to ask about your day-to-day -day responsibilities. What will a typical day in the office look like? The most challenging aspect of the job. What do people struggle with? This will allow you to have a plan and work on it. The future of the company. This again shows that you are interested in where this company is going. You're not going to be there for one year. You want to see where the company is in 10 years. Ask this question. And then, of course, stages of the hiring process. You were lucky enough to get to the next stage already. So what happens next? Let's ask some questions. So number one, opportunities for development. Are there any opportunities for development? Quite simple. Are there any opportunities for development? Number two, day-to-day -day responsibilities. What does a typical day look like here? Most challenging aspect of the job. What is the most challenging aspect of this job? You could go on further to ask, how can I plan for this? Four, future of the company. Where do you see the company in five years time? Number five, stages of the hiring process. So when can I expect to hear back from you? What is the next stage of the hiring process? Now I'm going to give you some tips about things not to say at your interview. You would be surprised about some of the things that are said and the interviewer, eh, mm -mm, you're not going to get that job. So let's have a look at them. Number one, performance. So how did I do today? Do not ask that. Do not ask about how you performed in the interview. This is a big no-no. Number two, salary and benefits. Do you want a career or do you want a good salary? Make sure you don't jump in and start asking about this. There's more important questions to ask. 
The only time you should mention salary and benefits is as soon as the interviewer asks you about your expectations. Then you can say what they are. Number three, plans to offer. So, do you have many other people looking at this position? Mm -mm, don't ask that. You should already know. What does the company do? So, you're at your interview. You'd be surprised with this question. Some people have asked this. What does this company do? Hmm. Remember, before your interview, preparation, it is everything. You need to know what the company does. You need to know when they started. You need to see what they want for their future. That is on you. <laughs> you have to be prepared. And finally, vacation. So, if I get the position, when can I take some vacation? How long do I get? Oof. <laughs> Not a good question to ask. Do not write these down. Think about them. If you were interviewing someone and they asked you some of these questions, would you hire them? I know I wouldn't. So think about some of the questions that we've gone through and practice asking the right questions. At least three. You are almost there. Not quite, but almost. This is the final stage of the interview. Remember all the points we have made about your body language, your smile, your eye contact. You need to remember that and apply at this stage. You are going to leave soon. Make a lasting impression. Some nice phrases to use. You are going to express gratitude for the interviewer taking the time to see you. So let's have a look at these. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful for the opportunity to discuss the role further. I am grateful for the opportunity to discuss the role in more detail. Thank you for your time. Nice and simple. Thank you for your time. Nice smile, good eye contact, handshake. I appreciate your time. I look forward to hearing your feedback. This is really nice. This makes it seem that you are very keen. Again, I can't emphasize enough body language, big smile, standing up straight, be confident. Before I leave you today, I want to give you some tips to take away. Let's go through them. Number one, preparation. Remember, the more you practice, the better you will become and the more confident you will be. I have given you lots of vocabulary and phrases in this lesson. Write them down, practice saying them aloud. Have an interview with yourself in the mirror. Talk to yourself, preparation. That is how you will prepare for your interview. Be confident. Number two, ask three questions. Do not get to the interview, ask one question and think that's, that's enough, that's enough. No, mm -mm. three questions. <laughs> Number three, salary and benefits. Remember, do not ask until you are asked about your expectations. If you mention this, it will seem that you're more interested in the salary and the benefits rather than career development and what you can do in this job. So leave this until you have been asked about your expectations. Number four, avoid one word answers. So do you think you have the relevant experience for this job? Yes. No. <laughs> Why do you have relevant experience? You need to fill in these answers. Number five, CV presentation. A lot of students think that it's okay to go through all of their CV. Remember, the interviewer has read your CV and that is why you are being interviewed. They know about you and you're not a robot. This is not a presentation. You do not need to go through, do not memorize. Think about what you are good at and go with that. Number six, tell me about yourself. Really, tell me about yourself, but professionally. 
I don't want to hear about your pets, your last vacation, your children, your relationship. Save that. I want you to tell me about your professional experience and where you see yourself in the future. Finally, hesitations. A lot of students, they will get stuck. And then I hear, hmm, um, mm, how to say. Mm -mm -mm. Whenever you think that you can't go on with your sentence, stop. Think about sound coming out. Stop it. Catch it. Think it in your mind. And you can use your body language to make it seem that you're reflecting on the question that has been asked. So you could... Hmm, and then start to answer the question. But be careful with these. Like I say, record and listen. This way you will start to correct yourself. Well done, everyone. That is the end of this lesson. But I want you to start practicing. In this lesson, we had some common interview questions. I want you to practice asking and answering these questions. I will be checking. You should be practicing in the groups. Thank you very much for coming and I hope to see you in our next class, which is all about nonverbal communication.